welcome back to Glenlarvan. That's the one. Um, so just claiming a fertilizing contract that one of the patrons had done. And between videos, I did the rather large potato planting contract that was up. So we've made a decent amount of money from contracting between videos. And I'm finally going to add in the 20 grand that we got from the dairy. And um, we're actually going to be taking a trip back to Maple Farm at the end of this video. Um, because we're getting ready to wrap up the dairy operation there and bring the cows over. So it's going to be cool. It'll be nice to have everything on the farm. Looking forward to that, to be honest. Um, so first job for today, main job for today really is to roll the barley field. So, so far in April, we planted the spring barley and the potatoes. And giants have, I don't know if it's an update or if I just hadn't noticed it before, but potatoes don't need rolling now, so which is cool. I'm sure when I did my video on needs rolling, potatoes were part of that and they did at that point need rolling. So I don't know when that update happened, but it's a cool update. Uh, just checking things like nitrogen level and stuff. So it looks like we need to do a little bit of work on there. Although it does say perfect. But it does also say that we are under. So we, I think we need to look at investing in a sprayer on here. Um, maybe just leasing one this, for this year. Because future years we'll have all of the manure and slurry to do some of the pre application this needs a fair bit of nitrogen um obviously all the lime is okay because we pre-applied lime because that's what you do um i'm not sure about the other field i did check the grass field later on as well and that is also that's uh, that's pretty good actually so it's got quite a lot of nitrogen on it which is good um, because i think next month we might be in to grass work next month potentially is, I was going to say it's very busy, but it's not actually because we've just got a field of maize to plant and we've now only got the one grass field to work. So actually maybe not so busy, um, but we will have the cows coming over, but they'll be going into the pasture to graze. So shouldn't be too much work. Um, that pasture does support milk, so we'll be getting milk still. We just won't be getting manure and slurry through the period where we're grazing them. But that's cool. So this save has on it the um, enhanced animal system. So it does mean that our younger animals, we do have some calves that will be coming over, will be calf sized, which is cool. Um, it's actually the first time that I've used that mod. So it's going to be fun. Um, it's quite interesting seeing, I, I, I haven't watched the videos, but seeing clearly how excited Mr. CDP is about Valley Spring releasing and the animal features that are built into that map on console. Um, and it's, it's an interesting one because I mean, it obviously does show that um, you can achieve quite a lot on console. Um, I think the important thing is that a lot of the stuff that's in Bally Spring is XML based. So there's no scripts. And I think a lot of um, map makers shy away from pushing the bounds of XML, you know, which I kind of get, um, you know, if you spent how many months or a year or whatever, making a really nice looking map and building all the buildings and stuff, maybe you don't want to spend another couple of months messing in xml or whatever it is I mean, for this map i i uh, i offered and did some xml things for cavalier um similar for saxthorpe as well so uh, so this one if you've been watching the series you will know has the custom scottish weather um which i implemented for cavalier and also has the custom contracting setups um and you know it's 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 and they're, they're quite time consuming and they add relatively small amounts you know but I, I think it's those things that you know that may be making maps on console you need to push to stand out i don't know so 
and the, the, the whole modding thing is kind of kind of weird at the moment um you see with with lancy pulling all of his mods off of mod hub um which if you're playing somewhere like Saxthorpe or want to play somewhere like Saxthorpe is potentially an issue. I know Farms in Briscoe has already reworked that to pull those out. Um, there was a map that released yesterday which had to instantly be updated because it used the silage sheds. Which is, uh, yeah. And you can kind of understand, you know, if you're, if you're doing a hobby and you're being personally attacked about stuff, then you you shouldn't have to deal with that. Since I've seen a lot of, uh, he should just toughen up or push through it or whatever. To my view is no one should have to toughen up or push through anything for a hobby in a video game. Um, you know, if, if you think someone needs to toughen up to make stuff for a farming video game, you might need to look at your opinion on things. Um, yeah uh, you shouldn't have to change who you are because of a hobby full stop you know um, anywho we have something much better to talk about today um, you will need to stick around to the end of the video but later on I will be doing a giveaway for a copy of the hay and forage extension for steam only so that's pc and that's only if you have the game on steam um the the license key was provided by monarchs who's a member of the community so you know it, if you if you're going back to what i was just talking about if you're unhappy that the price is only on steam tough you know there didn't have to be a prize there could be no giveaway so you know if you can take advantage of the giveaway i'll tell you how to enter later if you can't don't worry you know you're not losing out on anything so uh and in in so i think this was kind of prompted by me talking about when i hit five thousand subs i am going to do a giveaway i don't know what the prize will be yet it's likely to be for pc players um if i'm honest because that's probably easier for me um because it's likely to be something game related so but we'll see it's very likely to be pc only though so um, yeah so we'll talk about that a bit later on excuse me i've got to say this map is so much nicer to play now that it is not raining constantly and dark and everything else that goes with it it's uh yeah it, it it was not nice at the start playing this map it's my own fault i set the weather up this way but yeah it's uh it feels completely different and uh we do do a bit of exploring of the map in a bit um one of the things i like about doing contracts is that we get to see other bits of the map otherwise i would and i do it on almost every map i stick to my farm unless i do contracting so um yeah, for example, we do have some we have some soybeans to sell, but quite often with the fact that I tend to run animal focused farms, there's very little crop selling or anything like that as well. Um, so it tends to be really focused around the farm. You know, we'll uh, be doing animals. Most of the crops that I grow go into feeding the animals. Um, Usually, most of the waste goes back into the fields, although on Maypole we did get to the point where we're producing more slurry and manure than I could use, so I was selling that. Um, it's probably something that we're going to need to add onto this map, it will be a sell point, although because the animals will be in the pasture for part of the year, we'll be producing less manure and slurry, or collecting less manure and slurry. So, who knows, we will see. So it's probably Saturday when this video comes out. Um, I'm, I'm getting back to the point where I am caught up. My head, so it's Friday today. My head is still not right. It's getting better. I, uh, I increased the medication that I take on, I think about Wednesday. 
and it's having a small effect but it's also having some side effects so it, it's one of those things that um, I think I've said before I'm very sensitive to the side effects of medication and so when, when I saw the doctor now probably well over a month ago now he did say that if within a few weeks the meds weren't stopping them to up the dose and I actually started the other way I don't know if you can hear that plane flying over um, I started on a lower dose from what he prescribed and well actually I started on the prescribed dose and felt awful so I went to a lower dose and have built up and have now built up to what was the maximum he said I could take um, and I still don't feel particularly sparkly so I probably need to go back to the doctors at some point um, I think I said in the other videos this week or at least other videos so far this week that are let's play related end up having a couple of days off work because of it um, but I'm not sure what caused that because so Mrs D and I are both were both feeling rough those few days so maybe it was something else who knows Anyway, that is that feel, I feel rolled. So we just have maize to plant now, um, which I won't roll because I like the planted texture of maize. So I did not roll the barley. And I think the issue there was that we got that planted right at the end of the planting window. So didn't get a chance to roll it, which is fine. You know, it's not a big hit on yield. I'm um, actually something like this, in uh, Cartex finale of Attingham, um, he was waiting for his corn to ripen, um, and I don't know if, if how how aware people are of um, of what he was seeing in that crop state transitions only happen on month boundaries. So you know if you plant your crop on. You know, we're playing on three-day months. If you plant your crop at you know at 7 a.m. on let's say April 1 or 11 p.m. on April 3, they will both be ready to harvest at exactly the same time because they will both go through their first state transition at I guess 0001 on May 1. So um it doesn't really matter in the month where you do things. As long as you do them by the end of the month and then uh, those transitions happen so and that that that, yeah, that i think this is me assuming that it is a function of the fact that the game was written originally around having one day months only and so all of the logic for all that kind of thing still happens on that month transition um, could you imagine playing with it stuck on one day months? I would, you know, I I did. I think I'm, I'm I predicted in as we were running up to it that you know if 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 it came out that way, someone would release a mod to fix it. Thankfully, giants listened and sorted it. Um, because you know, playing with something like Maze Plus, you'd be. I guess you just have to play with the time really slow because you'd be feeding the animals like three times a day sometimes. Um, yeah, it'd be pretty nuts. But it's still got a pile of snow there from uh, from a while ago. Once you pile it up, it stays forever. Um, but there's a couple of FERT contracts that I'm going to get cleared out, mainly because this isn't a very long video so far. And the, the next, so the next jobs that we need to tackle are flying back over to Maypole, selling off the excess crop that we've got there. Um, there's quite a lot of silage left um, and a little bit of hay. Getting the cows loaded up and moved across, uh, getting the last of the milk and all that kind of stuff sold. So, and we're gonna go do some of that once we've done these work contracts. I'm gonna go, uh, there's, the, I don't know if, if you remember, we had a relatively full bunker of May silage. The cows have eaten pretty much all of that since we left Maypole. Um, I cracked it open, I can't remember when, in uh, 
since, since we left there it got cracked open and it's pretty much all gone um, but there's a little bit left so we're going to get that sold there are a lot of bales and I think probably the next Farming the Decades video will be getting the animals shipped out and getting all the bales sold um, there's quite a bit of money in the bales there and obviously we've got the farm then to sell off and I'm hoping that that will allow us to make a bit of a payment on the mortgage we had to take out to buy this place. Um, so it, we definitely need more land on here. But I think also we need to get rid of that loan first. So I, uh, I suspect most of the money we make off of selling the excess that's at Maypole, we will pay off the loan. And then with the cows here, probably every month we can just make a bit of a bonus payment on the loan to uh, get that paid down nice and quickly. So I, I still have actually. So I on um, I was off work on Wednesday, so I was feeling rough, and I uh, I sat and watched almost all of Oxy's multiplayer stream. Um, it was kind of cool just sort of hanging out chatting a bit um and he he gave me some tutorial ideas so i'm gonna be having a look at those um one of them both of them in fact are they're kind of interesting questions but they can take me a bit of time to work out um and i still have to do the enhanced vehicle one um i was hatch i may still um I was thinking about recording the GPS bit of that today, um, but I need to check. So I I have it installed, and the key mappings in game are different to the key bindings on the GitHub site. And so I just want to double check that the ones I have in game are correct and I haven't done anything to screw them up. Um, but I don't want to reset all my key bindings because that resets them all for the whole game. So, yeah. I may get that done that may be a video early next week I'm not entirely sure so I think at this point I am going to say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members you guys are all awesome and I think should we do it now so I mentioned earlier we have a, a price to give away thanks to Marnox from patrons so um, he has donated a copy of the hay and forage extension for pc only and for steam only so if you don't have the hay and forage extension and you play on steam then probably worth you entering because the previous giveaway i did the number of entrants was pretty low so um yep we have probably got a reasonably good chance of winning um there's a bunch of legal blurb below, but kind of the basics are this giveaway is not endorsed or supported by YouTube. And the main one is there are no alternative prizes. So if you win and you don't want a copy of Hay and Forage on Steam, then why did you enter? So um, I will draw the winner a week from the day this video comes out so that will be let me check the date the 5th of august um, and i will do it based on picking a random comment off of this video that has the word hey in it that's h a y um Write something funny if you want, write something witty, or just write, hey. And uh, there's a, a website you can use which will randomly pick a comment from a video with the keyword in it. And uh, yeah, so again, thanks Monarchs for that. And uh, I hope someone in the community appreciates it and enjoys it. Um, again, legal blurb below. So, and, uh, I would really like this to go to someone who's a regular viewer, part of the community, which is why it's buried 
nearly 20 minutes into a video and that video's title isn't giveaway because I don't know but it kind of feels to me like there are probably tools that you can use to scour YouTube videos for giveaways and stuff to enter and most of them are pretty similar to this you know um, so I got the idea for the way that I do this from watching a couple of guys who make camping videos um, particularly Kent Survival and Simon a bloke in the woods um, I think they both use this approach um, and it works quite well in, in my one experience of using it so yeah just finishing up these two contracts obviously they were two quite small contracts but decent amount of cash um, and we had the fertilizer anyway I think that contracting is going to get more interesting come May with uh, some other planting windows opening for a bit in May anyway for a month for a month um, and the grass being grown in so baling contracts should crop up and we're pretty well set up for doing baling contracts and with where we are at the moment that would probably be a good idea to get some of those done um, just to get a bit of a stockpile of feed because there's a lot of feed at Maypole that's going to be sold off and it would be useful to replace some of that. Um, so my standard camera shot for finishing up because I was going to stop the video at this point and then I realised it was quite short. So we're going to tack a few minutes on the end um, and we're going to head back over to Maypole Farm. It's really nice playing back on here. Um, so obviously I've been doing stuff in the background to feed the cows and sell the milk and sell the manure and slurry and that kind of stuff. But actually, it was quite nice to, uh, I'm going to make, I said about making loan payments, I am going to make a small loan payment because we are pretty well off for cash in the bank. So we're going to pay the 20 grand that we got from the dairy off the loan. So we're down to 367,000. Oh, that's a big, big number still. But we're making progress. So yep, back on Maple, I have loaded up the spare May silage. So we've got a trailer full there's a little bit laying around um but there are the cows they are all fine um manure has just been sold off slurry's been sold off there is quite a bit of milk to sell um, which we'll do in the next video we'll get the milk sold so there's twenty thousand liters of milk um there's some sugar beets in here that we need to get sold and there are quite a lot of bales so um it's quite a bit of hay quite a bit of straw and a lot of grass silage so the clamp's empty i can't get that last bit out um there is a lot of grass silage there's a hundred grand's worth of grass silage to sell um that's going to be fun to get stacked up but it's worth it you know we've got the soybeans we'll take with us um i might just leave the pallets behind but you know there's a new 200 grand's worth of stuff to sell um, that's what I was saying about making the payment off of the loan because we, we will have plenty of cash um, yeah and we get a few more tractors when it all comes back to uh, Glen Arvon. and who doesn't need more tractors I think I spoke about that in the last video and the rather excessive number of vehicles that we ran out Anyway, thanks for watching folks. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, click the like button. Comment below, A, if you want to win the giveaway. And uh, I will see you next time on Maypole Farm on here. See ya. See how much we get for this. Four grand, not bad. <laughs>